In this video, I'm going to show you the unfolding story of how China's 10 Dash line is being challenged across the world. With tensions rising and rejections deepening, this is one story you won't want to miss. Welcome to Simply Economics. If you have come across this channel for the first time, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. China's controversial boundary line has spawned a number of legal disputes as other countries have rejected their presence in the South China Sea. Let us break down what it all means and talk about how it could affect global relationships in the future. Earlier this month, China introduced its 2023 standard map. It's worth noting that this new map includes a 10-dash line, which is an updated version of the previously used 9-dash line. This move has raised concerns among China's neighboring countries. They see it as an effort by Beijing to validate its territorial claims over parts of its exclusive Economic Zones, or EEZ, in the South China Sea. The previous 9-dash line already covered more than 90% of the South China Sea, but with the new addition, there's an additional dash to the east of Taiwan. This has the potential to expand China's territorial assertions in the region, a catalyst for potential conflicts. China's South China Sea strategy is driven by sweeping territorial claims that encompass the entire region. Beijing is willing to use force to enforce these claims and has constructed and militarized artificial islands for this purpose. Other countries with overlapping exclusive economic zones such as Vietnam, Malaysia, Taiwan, Indonesia, and the Philippines have experienced Chinese aggression. The previous nine-dash line claimed by China holds no validity in maritime law. An arbitral tribunal ruled in 2016 that Chinese claims within the line lacked legal foundation, but Beijing rejected the judgment. Recent years have seen increased Chinese presence in disputed regions, including provocative acts in the Philippines. Tensions peaked in August 2023, when a Chinese Coast Guard vessel fired a water cannon at a Philippine resupply mission in the Spratly Islands. The U.S.-China Conflict the tense China-U.S. relationship escalates disputes over maritime territory, especially in the South China Sea. While not directly involved, the U.S. leans towards supporting Southeast Asian states, many of which are its allies. Washington officially affirms its commitment to peace, stability, and upholding freedom of the seas based on international law. In July 2020, the U.S. declared China's claims over offshore resources in the South China Sea as unlawful. This led to an increased presence of U.S. warships in the region, assisting ASEAN navies in countering Chinese aggression. China views the U.S. military presence as unwelcome and alleges that their freedom of navigation patrols violate Chinese sovereignty, an airspace that is currently under dispute. The territorial disputes in the South China Sea present a concerning dimension, the contest for regional airspace. Unlike the relatively clear-cut nature of claims over land and sea territories, the situation in the skies remains ambiguous. While Beijing asserts its claims over the regional sea spaces and sea features, it does not make the same explicit claim over the South China Sea airspace. China resists the presence of foreign military aircraft in the Western Pacific and has even established an Air Defense Identification Zone, or ADIS, over the East China Sea. However, it has refrained from setting up an ADIS over the South China Sea. This may be because enforcing exclusionary air zones in busy airspaces is a challenging task. China's Aggressive Acts China's behavior in the South China Sea is causing concern as its military aircraft frequently engage in shadowing and harassing foreign counterparts. The recent incident involving a Chinese J-16 fighter jet dangerously approaching a U.S. reconnaissance plane highlights the aggressive actions taken by China towards U.S. military aircraft in the Western Pacific. China acknowledges the risks and has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the U.S. to establish rules of behavior in air and maritime encounters. Beijing aims to prevent a repeat of the EP-3 incident in 2001, where a U.S. reconnaissance plane collided with a Chinese fighter jet over the South China Sea. Contradictions within ASEAN ASEAN's stance on China and the South China Sea disputes varies among member states. Some strongly oppose China's actions, while others are more supportive. China's influence in Southeast Asia adds complexity. Negotiations for a code of conduct in the South China Sea are ongoing. Territorial disputes between ASEAN and China present challenges to their relationship. Southeast Asian leaders acknowledge the risks of Chinese maritime aggression, as unresolved conflicts could undermine ASEAN's leadership. Balancing confrontation and cooperation with China is a delicate task for many states, as mishandling regional tensions may trigger conflicts in the region. The need for diplomatic solutions 
As tensions over the South China Sea continue to escalate, it is crucial for all parties involved to prioritize diplomacy and peaceful resolutions. The involvement of international organizations such as ASEAN and the United Nations will be vital in finding a consensus and preventing any potential conflicts. It is also important for countries to respect international laws and regulations, especially regarding territorial claims. Dialogue and negotiations should be encouraged as the primary means of resolving disputes rather than resorting to military force. The South China Sea issue is a complex one, but with open communication and cooperation, it can be resolved in a peaceful manner that benefits all parties involved. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. We truly appreciate your support. See you in the next one. Thank you.